TransCanada is a leader in the responsible development and safe operation of natural gas pipelines in North America. For nearly 100 years, our Columbia gas transmission system has delivered this vital energy source to markets across the East Coast, including throughout West Virginia and Western Maryland. This video simulation describes the horizontal directional drilling process, or HDD, and the steps we take to reduce our impact on the surrounding area in accordance with strict environmental standards. HDD is a trenchless method of installing pipelines underneath water bodies, roads, railways, buildings, and other structures. It is an environmentally friendly method used to cross sensitive areas that significantly reduces impact to the land above the drilling site and surrounding communities. Construction impacts during all phases of the HDD are minimized by the use of temporary wetland mats. Wetland mats are laid down on top of the bore area for crews and equipment to work on during construction. There are three phases of construction associated with the HDD, which are creating the pilot hole, pre-reaming, and pullback. In the first phase of construction, an entry point or pilot hole is created. The pilot hole is achieved by excavation using a downhole motor and can range between 4 and 3 8 inches and 12 inches. The pilot process can take several days depending on the condition of the soil and may require changing of the drill stem or drill head. For this project, it is anticipated that the pilot hole will travel about 72 feet below the riverbed. Once the pilot hole has been completed, the second step, pre-reaming, takes place with a reamer or hole opener. Hole openers come in different shapes and sizes, and vary depending on the soil conditions and soil density. Sometimes multiple passes with the hole opener are required. The final step, pullback, is when the pipe is fed into the reamed hole. A weld cap is installed on the pipe where a swivel is placed attaching the drill string, thus not allowing any rotation of the pipeline. At the completion of the HDD, a full demobilization and restoration effort takes place. We are confident that with careful planning and public input, we will develop a proposal that meets TransCanada's high standards of safety and environmental stewardship, as well as the expectations of our neighboring communities. We thank you for watching this video and look forward to working together.